Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Good to have you. Thanks for visiting. I'm in the green room again. Uh, I'm looking at my floating raft. I kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, I should have used the Rockwell cubes and started my seeds before I put it in here because I went with coconut core and the perlite. And the problem is, is uh, it doesn't hold in the cups very well because the cups have holes in them like this. And usually if you use a rock oak cube or something like that or the stones, that'll prevent that. And it's not too much of a problem until you turn on the aerator. Well, I put a, I took the commercial aerator out of here. It was overkill. And I put it, bought a new one over here and put in a, a lot smaller stones. Uh, so I got two of them in here running really light. And uh, I still had a little trouble and it's causing uh, my... Uh, medium to fall fall out so I'm having a hard time getting the spinach started but I did get the uh, uh, lettuce to grow so once it roots out and stuff like that I shouldn't have a problem but I should have used a Rockwell cube and I probably knew better but and the other thing I was doing is I finally transplanted more of my tomatoes into larger containers like these uh, due to the fact I'm running out of room and I want to start getting these growing really good to uh, take out to the Dutch bucket system so yeah uh, it's hard to keep up uh, it's been really busy we have company coming I spent the whole day at Costco and uh, and uh, Safeway just getting groceries and stuff like that Sherry's working of course and uh, so when she gets home she's like more worried about cleaning the house and things like that and I'm having a hard time keeping up with just the general chores. And uh, so I'm heading on out to uh, run the watering system for the onions and the watering system. Come on, pups. The watering system for the uh, towers. I haven't got the timers put on yet. I haven't had time. And the timers aren't just a simple timer. I just got to kind of figure out how they work before I connect them. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to turn on the water, uh, get the onions going, and take it from there. Well, I got the water fired up for the onions. Somehow, 97% of them are surviving. There's a couple I need to replace. But these are Walla Walla onions. Planted them pretty early, but they've handled the cold weather. So that's a good thing. And uh, walking over here to the towers. Uh, we got all of our new stuff in there. And then I got some old ones I don't think are going to take. And uh, the ones we uh, bought from uh, the other company, we kept them in the house too long. And I got a, some of them are just not going to make it. So luckily I got another 30 on the way. And we'll get these towers filled up in no time. However, uh, some of the new ones over here are taking pretty good. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're kind of excited about that. So, uh, let's get the water turned on for them. Uh, try to run the uh, nutrients once a day. Once again, I need to put a timer on it. But uh, uh, we do what we can do. Boy, time. Always fighting time. So uh, let me get this started up and we'll give these pretty little plants some nutrients. Once again, for those that are not familiar with the system, I'm running a 38 gallon garbage can basically. And I use a uh, master blend uh, and a few things in here and uh, run about five minutes of drip into these uh, towers right here. And uh, amazingly enough, it doesn't use the water as fast as you think it would. And uh, all of them are getting a drink of some really good stuff. And uh, I can already see a lot of new growth. So yeah, I can't wait till this is all full of strawberries. But I gotta get through all my mis mistakes. Like the floating raft, that was a big mistake. But uh, I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world, but I should have used the rock roll cubes. But uh, Live and learn, right? How do you get better if this you don't fail? I gotta talk about the fails. 
it's just not right because when people are doing this stuff and they say oh these guys are perfect they do it right all the time i can't do nothing it's like you gotta fail a few times and then you go oh mm -hmm. <laughs> and even if you're told or shown right you're still gonna fail once in a while and sometimes you nail it so yeah that's always cool but yeah so we got that going um I don't know what my blueberries are going to do. They, right now it looks like I'm trying to grow some sticks. And the raspberries look like I'm growing sticks. So might have been too early for them. But we'll see if they take. We'll, we'll give it some time. You know, I had a couple of interesting things yesterday. I kind of got me thinking. The first one was, you saw the video of uh, us uh, selling those uh, old-time engines. And uh, this is a <laughs> probably an age thing. But... To me, it's so cool to see folks that are maybe 20 years younger than me uh, taking something from the past and, and making it alive again so people can see the technology and the work and the uh, uh, things that we went through in the early 1900s to uh, do what we did uh, to get over here. And uh, to see those uh, old time engines up and running again someday is a good feeling that hopefully that influences some young folks to always stay curious about our our history and our uh, uh, how the industry grew and how we started and how much work that people went through a hundred years ago to develop this area in the West. Uh, sorry about the wind. The second thing that came up is I had a conference with a couple of radio stations last night and uh you know the conversation is how do we get more listeners and all that kind of stuff and uh and we also had a promotional guy and he was obviously crazy and this is what you got to do and in order to get people to watch your shows you got to be doing stupid things and <laughs> let young people uh you know uh the new woke stuff and push things to the edge and hot looking girls and and swearing and and stupidness really it's like stupid down your radio shows well both the me and another guy uh, from Hamilton radio his name was Gene we're both about the same age and uh, you know the guy was telling us we're just old timers we believe in you know because we place you know older music and things that really doesn't seem that old but I guess it would be the music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s was 20, 30, 40 years ago. So I guess it is old music, but it's good music. And uh, in our shows on Good Talk Radio, uh, our conservative, uh, very smart people, not all conservative, um, but really good shows and really uh, professional uh, hosts and Gene's got a lot of the same on his stuff and uh, every time we deal with the younger folks that are these wild and crazy things they are unpredictable they are pushing the limits of whether we get in trouble on the internet stuff like that so we tend to not run those shows as much as we know how popular they are and so it's really hard you know you get up in age and you know if I really wanted a booming radio station I put a whole bunch of dumb stupid crazy people on there doing outrageous things that I couldn't even watch and uh, oh I mean I'd get they'd come in like in the groves and uh, you know different kinds of uh, cultures and stuff that uh, I'm not used to I support but don't support uh, and uh, I can't do it and I'm not going to do it and so I guess I'm going to continue to be kind of a poor person um, with uh, but I just feel like, just like the people with the steam, uh, getting back to the engine people, is I think it's important that for those of us who remember the old Americana, or remember uh, uh, our morals and ethics and patriotism and, and all of those different things, uh, for those of us that remember it and continue to live by it, it, we need to continue to speak out. It's no different than our religion. We need to speak out about that. But... Uh, and share it and make it available to people that are that want to see it or are convinced it's time that they need to find out what our history was all about 
And so uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I guess the big part is there's a lot of folks that are older like us that are, I guess you might say, stuck in our ways. But uh, we know that we're stuck in our ways, and we know that if we did some of these changes, we'd, we'd make tons of money and things like that. And yet we don't do it. And why don't we do it? And I think it's because we're trying to hold what we can of the past for young people to eventually discover. And uh, they may, we may be losing the battle. And a lot of you guys might agree, we feel like we're losing the battle. But the, yeah, even when it comes to religion or whatever it is, it says we need to continue pushing our messages, whether it's religion or whether it's uh, morals and ethics. Uh, and you know we had some really wonderful things in our in my generation of, of freedom and liberty and my radio stations reflect that and I'm gonna stay that course as much as I know if I changed it and became a more woke radio stations and all that stuff I'd probably get tons of crazy people to watch the shows by the hundreds but uh, uh I just don't feel like that's my mission. And uh, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on it. Like, do you want radio shows that are like people doing stupid things all day, literally not doing anything intellectual, really not talking about the news or what's going on or how things were and um, talking about ethics and, and morals and, and things like that? Um, or do you like those wild and crazy shows? Um, uh, am I just an old timer? Am I just stubborn old guy that just won't change his ways I uh, probably <laughs> but uh I know I can't say I can't change my ways I mean look at that. I'm doing aquaponics and towers and things like that I mean I I am open to new ideas but uh I'm also still a patriot I'm still an American I'm still believe in family and uh, religion and uh and God uh, and, uh, well, not so much religion, but God. <laughs> anyway, and there's a lot of good things. My kids missed out on a lot of things, and your kids, I'm sure, are missing out even more uh, than what we had when we were kids. And that's so, so sad. How we're ever going to get back there again, we may never get back there. Maybe we've, we've lost the battle to the wokeness. But I think it's important that we continue to try. So... Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, it's been a, such a busy day. I'm just sitting down for a minute, but i got to take care of chores. I haven't done anything with the chickens yet. Chickens are doing great. And uh, uh, we got to work on our RV tonight and get that all cleaned up. But I can't believe how much stress there is knowing that we have guests coming down. And that's sad. Um, you know, uh, you always go out and give a good impression. You always want your house to be clean and you want everything up and running and stuff. But at the same time, is like, uh, uh, and we know the people coming over are not judgmental. Um, but it's something I'm sure all of you guys, I'm sure you guys, uh, I'd be interested to hear, like, whenever you get guests over, do you vacuum and clean and do all these things and clean your bathrooms and do the whole thing? Um, more so than you ever do uh, when you're doing your normal day-to-day -day life and uh why do you do it <laughs> so anyway uh, when i go to people's houses i tell them first thing i didn't come here to judge you i came here to visit you so uh don't worry about your house don't worry about your pets don't worry it's your house i'm here to visit and i want to see you and uh, and, and be in your company and i don't care if your house didn't get cleaned up or not it's not important uh, it's always appreciated, but please, I come over to visit my kids and stuff, not the judge. Um, uh, I did that when they were teenagers. <laughs> That's over. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. You guys have a great day. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. I know I was kind of down to earth a little bit here in a conversation, but uh, sometimes it's like this you just want to get something off your mind and bring it up to others and maybe you your belief system is uh outdated and maybe it's not but uh i'd love to hear your comments below but guys have a great day be safe 
Say hello in the comments and we'll talk to you next time. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.